Welcome back to our English program, live from Interpark and out of our glass studio in between halls 9 and 7. Come and visit us here or do join us online. We are in the middle of day 4 and it's been a busy day today. Many interesting talks and networking are going on in the halls. And I am joined now to talk about a topic that is also among the uh, top and hot topics of this pair. We're going to talk about food safety falling into the category of product safety, I guess, in some way as well, um, and how to save food especially. I am joined now by Zeynep, I hope I pronounced this correctly, Taja. <laughs> yes. She is Associative Professor at the Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sciences, and you have to help me out here with the name of the university. Bahçeşehir University. Istanbul, Great. Turkey. Great. Thank you so much and thank you also so much for being yeah. here and talking to us today. Yes, I thank you for your invitation. I, um, you've told me before that this is your first time at Interpark. It's my first time as well. <laughs> um, and you've arrived just today. What are your impressions of the fair so far? Wow, it's fabulous actually. Uh, it's so specific and so um, like interesting. All these novel ideas, novel technology is so inspiring really. Uh, and it's the first time that I uh, joined this conference. Uh, of course, in Istanbul and Turkey, we have some packaging uh, exhibitions. But of course, this is the world's biggest uh, exhibition. So it's very uh, exciting uh, and full of these holes, full of these uh, specific topics. It's really uh, good and good to see all these developments and novel ideas. Uh, so it's a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, and for us, actually, for all our team. Yeah. Um, you've told me that you have been to some other fairs connected more to food yeah. and packaging. Have you already, like, did you already get an impression uh, on how Interpark is different from these fairs? Actually, uh, food packaging or packaging, let's say, uh, it's uh, a unique area. Uh, so, uh, although it's a branch, uh, it's good that uh, it has this specificity. So, of course, food is so great, a, a very big world, uh, but uh, actually food packaging needs uh, more focus. Mm -hmm. uh, in that sense, oh, and, um, instead of being a part of a uh, food exhibition, actually uh, the only topic, the main topic, uh, is being the food packaging is so valuable. And actually uh, here uh, the exhibitors, the, uh, all these uh, audience, all these uh, guests are also experts in the area uh, from different uh, countries, different different uh, areas, different uh, specialties. So uh, it's a great networking uh, opportunity, I think. Uh, therefore, uh, it is uh, so unique to create ideas and uh, for the network. And we have missed this uh, exhibition. Uh, although I haven't been here, I have always heard about the fame, of course. So it's so uh, unique and great. Awesome. Everyone is very happy yeah. to be here and have this chance to network yeah, exactly. again. Um, like I said before, we're going to talk about how to save food today. Mm -hmm. I already said that you are working at the faculty of um, well, packaging engineering, I'm guessing. Not exactly. Not exactly. No, so no. tell us what is it yeah. that you do exactly. Um, actually, uh, I'm originally a food engineer. Ah. Uh, I have a PhD in the area and I have a bachelor degree as well uh, on the area. Uh, but, uh, as you know, the food packaging is a uh, kind of interdisciplinary area as well. Kind of material science, chemistry, and of course food and so forth. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, in that sense very interdisciplinary. We might consider it uh, like this, I think. Uh, so, uh, Safe Food Initiative uh, is an um, initiative, very important initiative uh, by FAO and Messe um, Dusseldorf. Uh, so, uh, maybe I can talk about the project already? Yes, please. So, uh, last year, I think it was uh, during last May or June, uh, that uh, FAO Regional uh, Office of Central Europe uh, has invited us to be a, become a partner with uh, Messe Düsseldorf uh, under the uh, Safe Food Initiative. So, uh, it was a nice opportunity for us to make a collaboration with these, uh, of course, um, in institutions and MESSEC as a company. Uh, so, uh, we, we came together uh, and what, uh, we started talking, uh, like thinking about what we could do. Uh, 
so uh, at the end, after many meetings and uh, like brainstorming and so forth, uh, we uh, decided to create it as a student challenge. So uh, Bahçeşehir University is a new uh, young university, we could say, uh, in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, we have uh, nine different departments, nine different faculties and many uh, departments and it's a part of a global network so we have also other universities around the world actually. Uh, and uh, Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sciences has uh, of course many different departments as well like industrial engineering, molecular biology and genetics, uh, electrical, electrical engineering uh, and so forth uh, like many other. Uh, so uh, I worked there uh, for four years. I started at the gastronomy and culinary arts departments to give the food science courses. Uh, but then I moved back to food and uh, like engineering faculty, uh, I could say. So uh, as a uh, sum up, uh, we uh, created this idea. So um, students from different disciplines, from different engineering and also social sciences uh, came up together. They applied to this project uh, with a uh, letter of invention um, uh, and intention and then uh, they made their application. So at the end we had around 30 different students from bachelor and master degree of our university having uh, different specialties, as I said. Also industrial design students were very interested in the idea because it was the design is a very important part of food packaging actually so for every team we um, wanted to have at least one design student together with the engineering students so uh, they came up uh, to form the teams uh, and started working the ideas uh, we made the kickoff uh, in December and uh, they presented to the jury uh, like three ideas <coughs> And then we uh, directed to one uh, that is more novel uh, or more uh, like original. And then they started working in the lab uh, on these ideas. So they uh, tried and tried. Uh, they uh, worked on it, made some experiments, how uh, they found the materials. So the idea was to create a novel uh, food packaging, biopackaging idea uh, using the food waste or byproducts uh, and um, to present it. So uh, at the end, uh, at the end of uh, February, uh, we chose two uh, ideas, uh, and now they will be presenting their ideas tomorrow uh, in the uh, food packaging and trans session uh, at 2:30 p.m. Uh, today at the Interpac. Of course, uh, not only the design of the uh, idea, but also kind of business case, marketing strategy, strategy uh, kind of novelties, the contribution to sustainability, all these um, points were also important. So as a sum up, uh, I can say that, and of course uh, it was interdisciplinary as I said, so they didn't know each other, uh, but uh, yeah, like with different um, uh, ways of thinking, uh, they had to collaborate uh, and it was a very uh, nice uh, experience for them, I believe. Uh, so we, will, uh, we are excited to see their final ideas actually. And of course the contribution from MESTE, all the feedbacks, the directives, it was so valuable. Uh, they were always like supporting uh, in all phases, I could say. So uh, it was great. There was so much in there. I got saving food by using food, yeah. by developing packaging from food waste. That's so interesting. Yeah. Also collaborating between different people. I always feel like this networking and collaborating is also something that's very important yeah. to this fair. Exactly. So tell me, how are your students that you have brought to Düsseldorf with you feeling about tomorrow? <laughs> I bet they must be a bit nervous but also very excited to yeah be yeah here. they are <laughs> excited <laughs> they are not around i can say at the moment uh, i i was a little bit nervous so i didn't invite them here uh, i could say honestly uh, but uh, of course for them it was a nice opportunity mm -hmm. uh, because uh, being a part of a project uh, during the studentship uh, was something uh, like uh, very important and unfortunately most of these students had their studentships during COVID time, during pandemic time. So they were online, they were away from the school a little bit. So both socially and uh, technically uh, it was so significant yeah. and uh, of course they had some challenges. 
uh, not only the good news, but all, of course they had to uh, give times and sometimes until late hours, and uh, they had some struggles among themselves because of these differences. But they were all very uh, significant experiences for their future career as well. So uh, as a university, as Bahçeşehir University, we thank once more to FAO and uh, Mesut Düsseldorf uh, in that sense as well. And of course they um, they are not uh, originally food science students, as I said. So uh, actually they met up with the food packaging. Uh, so they came uh, to the point that um, they can contribute to this um, industry or the, uh, the ideas somehow. And I know that some of them, for example, uh, changed their directives uh, to the point that, okay, I can work on sustainability, on some uh, solutions, sustainable solutions for the future, for the nature, mm -hmm. uh, for the globe. Uh, so uh, I think it was very important in that sense as well. They, this uh, project has affected their maybe the future career. So, yeah. And being in Düsseldorf was also something. This is a great city. Uh, they uh, didn't have so much time yet, but uh, it was very welcoming and nice weather. Thank God we didn't have rain. We were expecting rain, but it's so nice. Uh, and uh, I, I believe that they will uh, be like having uh, many uh, novel ideas and novel no networking opportunities during uh, Interpac as well. Great, that sounds yeah. awesome and very exciting for yeah. students. Looking again at food packaging and also saving food, can you tell us a bit more about trends that you have noticed in this industry? Yeah, um, of course, uh, sustainability is the main trend. Uh, uh, like, it's not only limited with the food packaging industry. So uh, we are uh, like getting uh, to the point that uh, we need to be more in hurry in terms of uh, environmental concerns. And food packaging is, uh, in that sense, a, a serious uh, problem, let's say, uh, for the uh, waste. Uh, so uh, the solutions related with this uh, that, that uh, are working for the sustainability are important. Uh, somehow, a zero waste approach, a circular economy approach, I think they will uh, be gaining more and more importance and uh, people are getting more and more awareness uh, related with the, uh, nature and uh, the packaging they used, how uh, they can uh, minimize the, uh, maybe uh, the uh, sizes of the packaging or they can make some smart choices uh, related with the packaging. Therefore, uh, the Interpac or the novel ideas are so important. So as a consumer, uh, I will be having the uh, choice of uh, the food packaging that is more sustainable, that is more environment friendly. This is important. And uh, some uh, nature uh, inspired solutions like bio based package packages, maybe biodegradable packages, of course, they are uh, very much in uh, concern. And uh, all these legislative, uh, novel um, like legislations, let's say, uh, related with the EU Union, uh, European Union Commission, uh, and so forth, they are. Uh, so much direct in the industry, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some, uh, what can we say? For example, I had worked uh, on a project on mycel mycelium-based packages. So from fungi, we produced the packages previously. So uh, this kind of um, uh, using some maybe not so common uh, sources, uh, but sustainable sources are, of course, the uh, initial uh, trend, we could say. But uh, this, uh, the solutions should uh, be good enough uh, to replace the uh, conventional solutions. Uh, so uh, I think uh, the research is going uh, really focusing on how to uh, increase their strengths, how uh, to increase their performance and expectations of the customers. So uh, this is important. And of course, the uh, packaging has always the potential for the marketing intentions. So sometimes, uh, or maybe, maybe most of the times, we made our choices uh, for the attractions, yeah. for the design, 
so that part is also very important and convenience is very important. So uh, this generation has uh, don't uh, they don't have so much time uh, to uh, deal with this packaging. So it must be simple. It must be pre practical. Maybe it must be it might be reusable in their daily life for the later. So maybe after life options are also important. Mm -hmm. I could say these I think uh, very roughly. Of course, uh, here uh, I believe there are more and more ideas. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, looking back at the uh, initiative and the cooperation and the projects you brought with you, can, us, uh, t can you tell us a bit more about the projects that your students are going to present tomorrow? Okay, uh, so uh, Food Initiative uh, has many uh, food industry partners, food packaging partners, and uh, they are active uh, partners, we could say. Uh, and actually in October uh, 2022, uh, we had the four regional meeting in uh, Turkey. So uh, we also introduced our, uh, I, uh, like uh, this Uh, collaboration out there in the meeting during the meeting and related with the projects uh, I could say uh, the final projects one of them is uh, related with the um, uh, like it's FECOB uh, so how can I say Uh, the, uh, maybe I can start with the other one. So it, it's a PLA package uh, with mm -hmm. modified atmosphere packaging. It's related with the strawberries. Uh, so it's a kind of uh, sensitive uh, fruit, as you know. So they try to be uh, like focusing on more uh, design uh, and uh, focusing on the uh, shelf life in, in their project. As another project, uh, the other project is uh, related uh, with the... Um, Uh, the uh, fungi, so they uh, use a, s a specific um, biotechnological uh, product, let's say. So their product don't have any other um, like uh, um, industrial sources. Uh, so for dried foods, they designed this project. Uh, it's Pakobi, and uh, it's um, very. Uh, you are flexible to grow this. Uh, Uh, on a, a specific uh, area and they used uh, the uh, tea waste and orange waste uh, in their package and the other group used the rice husk. So uh, one of our rules was that to contribute, of course, one uh, food waste or food byproduct. Uh, so they focused on this uh, idea. Uh, the other one uh, that is not chosen, maybe I could say, was related with the 3D packaging design of uh, some confectionery products, for example, and so forth. We had uh, six different ideas. Uh, they were all different than each other. Uh, one of them was related with the dairy packaging, for example. But the winner teams will be giving more information tomorrow, actually, yeah. <laughs> on their ideas. So interesting. So everyone who wants to find out more about yes. these designs, where should they come and when? Uh, it's at uh, 2.30 tomorrow uh, in the um, uh, Hall 8, I think, uh, in the entrance. So it's around here. So we expect, uh, we wait all of the uh, interested audience to, uh, and like make uh, some uh, change of ideas uh, with them. Uh, so our students will be giving more and more information about their project. I don't want to give so much detail <laughs> <laughs> at this point. I get that. So everyone should come to Hall 8 right yeah. around the corner here. Yeah. Zeynep, thank you so much. Yeah, I wish you. you the best of luck with the presentations thank tomorrow you very much. and good thank networking. You. Thank you. It was a nice uh, opportunity to be here with you. Nice to meet you and thanks for your invitation. You're more than welcome. Thank you for giving us this insight into what you're doing and what your students Thank will you. present. Thank you so much. <laughs>